guys so today we are going to look at a program that decides the eligibility of a student for admission based on certain conditions we have four conditions in which the first three conditions states a specific criteria for marks of three subjects and the last one the condition where either the total number of three total marks of three subjects should cross 180 or just the addition of the maths and physics marks should cross 140 now we can implement this using a nested if or just a nested if with many condition or one in which we combine conditions together using a logical and logical or now what is a logical and and logical or a logical and is represented as a symbol where we put together two ampere sand signs in this if we have a variable a and we have a variable b and we have to find the result of a and b so if both the variables are zero that meaning it is both the variables are false so the answer will be false if any one of the variable is false also the answer is false meaning this is zero zero and zero and if both the values are true which is 1 the answer is true which is 1 so this is the concept of logical and moving on to the concept of logical or which is represented by two pipeline operators now the pipeline operator is the button that is usually found below the backspace button it is it has got a or operation and it has got the backslash so on pressing shift and that key you get the pipeline operator so putting two of them signifies a logical or so if i am writing the truth table for logical or if both are false the answer is false but if any one of the answer is true the answer is true and if both the answers are true then also the answer is true so this is the difference between the answers of logical and and logical or note that for logical and to be true both the value should be true for logical or to be true any one of the value is enough now the condition that has been given to us is the maths marks should be greater than equal to 65 the physics marks should be greater than equal to 55 and the chemistry mark should be greater than or equal to 50 i'll just confirm it once again uh, yes and the total should be greater than the total of three subjects should be greater than or equal to 180 or the maths plus physics should be greater than or equal to 140 now there are two ways to go by it i will show you both the ways one way is just by using a nested if condition wherein look at the first condition if maths is greater than equal to 65 then yes the student is el eligible but not only that you have to have the first three conditions satisfied so i'll go for the first condition by writing if m is greater than equal to 65 considering m p and c are the marks in maths physics and chemistry respectively now if m is greater than 65 then i have one more condition to check the condition is if physics marks is greater than equal to 55 i'm not using a bracket inside this because i have only a single statement inside this if now if p is greater than equal to 55 you have to nest one more condition inside where you check if c is greater than equal to 50 now if c is greater than equal to 50 you com comes the uh, fourth condition you bring in the fourth condition the fourth condition is a combination of two conditions satisfy first m plus sorry m plus p plus c should be greater than or equal to 180 put the conditions together or just the m plus p should be greater than equal to 180 put that also together and enclose the entire if in one condition 
when you write multiple conditions please make sure that you enclose everything together inside a bracket because that is the syntax of if condition now if this is true then yes the student is eligible so go ahead and print f eligible now this is the only condition where it becomes true where m is greater than or equal to 65 is satisfied then it goes and checks for p is greater than or equal to 55 that is also satisfied then it goes and checks if c is greater than or equal to 50 that is also satisfied then checks two conditions either m plus p plus c should be greater than or equal to 180 or just the sum of the marks in maths and physics is greater than or equal to 140 sorry i have written 180 it should be 140 okay when all these three conditions four conditions are satisfied the answer is it's an eligible any other case if any of these conditions fail the student is ineligible so writing the parallel else for this it becomes else printf not eligible that is the fourth condition has not satisfied now what if the third condition was not satisfied then also else printf the student is not eligible not eligible that means first two conditions may satisfy but the third condition is not satisfied now the second condition if it is not satisfied then also it's an else printf not eligible so if the second condition is not satisfied it doesn't bother even checking the third and the fourth condition directly it becomes not eligible now the first condition itself if it is not satisfied you come to the else where again the student is not eligible it doesn't go ahead to check whether the second third or fourth is true it right away prints the student is not eligible so this is nesting of condition now you will say that there were two statements one inside if and else so why didn't i put the bracket if and else sort of belong to each other if there is if there is if else is not mandatory but if else is put then else belongs to the corresponding if so it is considered as one uh, what do you say one block together therefore if and else is not sing separate statements so you don't have to include a bracket so this is one way of writing the conditions for this the another way of writing it is combining the first three conditions together by using logical and operation I'll go ahead and write if m is greater than or equal to 65 should be satisfied and physics is greater than or equal to 55 has to be satisfied and chemistry greater than or equal to 50 should also be satisfied. If all these three are satisfied together, don't forget the bracket around it, then you have to check the fourth condition. Fourth condition cannot be ignored. So you check the fourth condition where the total of three subjects is greater than or equal to 180 put a bracket around it or just the sum of two subjects maths and physics is greater than or equal to 140 sorry i have forgotten the equal to sign here put this in the bracket and don't forget to close the if condition now if this is true then you can go ahead and print that the student is eligible if this case does not satisfy then you have to write the else case the student is not eligible that means the fourth condition is not satisfied not eligible now if the first second or third any one fails since it is the logical and the entire equation will fail the entire condition will fail if any one of them is failing if anyone evaluates to false the entire thing will also evaluate to false because it is combined together by the logical and operation so there is just one else for this and you print f not eligible i have compressed what was written earlier as multiple nested if statements into one single 
if state condition where I have combined everything by the logical AND operation. Now if we ask there is no difference in the working, the output in both the cases will be same. But I have combined it together because I can since there are smaller conditions and conditions are eligible to be combined. So I have combined together. So I will show both the ways in the coding, both ways are correct. Let us see that in the code. So I am going to start by declaring my three variables required for the subject marks. So float, m, p and c. You can go ahead and also write met for maths, phy for physics, chem for chemistry, no problem. Now I will be asking the user to enter the marks, enter marks for maths, comma physics, comma chemistry. You can write it separately as enter marks for maths and scanner for math, enter marks for physics and scanner for phi and enter marks for chemistry and scanner for the variable chem. You can do it separately, you can do it together also. No problem. So percentage F, percentage F, percentage F for the three marks and ampere sand MAT, comma ampere sand PHY, comma ampere sand CHEM. Once I've written that, I'm going to start with the conditions. So the in the first case, what we did is we were doing it as nested. So if math is greater than or equal to 65, nesting, if phi is greater than or equal to 55, nesting, if chem is greater than or equal to 50. Again, nesting. Now the conditions are if, leave a space for the bracket so that we can arrange it. So if math plus, I'll put a bracket around it, math plus phi plus chem should be greater than or equal to 180, put a bracket around the entire thing and it should be supported, connected by an OR operator. So the OR operator is math plus phi should be greater than or equal to 140. This is for the whole round bracket and this is for the uh, total bracket. Okay. If that is the case, you can go ahead and write slash n student is eligible. Now I am going to copy paste the statement for the further printf statements recurring again. So after this comes the else of the if in written in line number 13. Else go ahead and printf that the student is not eligible. Now we write for the else if uh, the else part of the if in line number 12 that is a condition number 3 for chemistry subject. So else go ahead and print f the student is not eligible. Now we write the else part of the statement line number 11 for the physics marks write else and print f the student is not eligible. Go ahead and write the else part for the maths marks which is the first condition in line number 10 and again print f student is not eligible. That's all. Uh, let's go through our program. It looks fine. Let's run once again. So let's run the program. I'm going to run the program. It asks for marks for maths, physics and chemistry. Uh, let's say I'm going to enter a positive value for all. So I am going to be entering something like let's say 90, 90, 90 for each. 90, 90 and 90 for all three marks the student is eligible now uh, i'm going to enter a case where the student's maths marks is less than 65 so i'm going to enter the maths marks alone as 55 and the remaining two i'm going to enter as 90 so the student is not eligible now for the physics marks if you run once again I will be entering 90 for maths, I will be entering 50 for chemistry and uh, 85 for 
50 for physics and 85 for chemistry. Student is not eligible because the physics marks is less than 55. Run once again. I will be entering 90 for maths. I will be entering 85 for physics. And chemistry has to be above 50. So, I am entering 45. And it is not eligible. Now, I will run where... Uh, the total of my marks. So, it's either the either the total should be greater than 180 or the maths plus physics should be um, should be 140. So, let's say I'm entering 70 and uh, 6, I'm entering 70 and let's say 20 and 30. So, the fourth condition, if let's check the fourth condition which is the value 65, 55 and 50. So, we will run with this and also it is not eligible because though the student's marks are 65, 55 and 50, the total is not adding up to 180 or above and maths plus physics is also not adding up to 140 and above. Therefore, then also the student becomes not eligible. Now, moving on to the place, uh, to the type of writing the program where we combined everything. Uh, we'll write if maths is greater than or equal to 65 and physics should be greater than or equal to 55 close and chemistry should be greater than or equal to 50 and enclose the entire thing in a bracket the entire if condition for that alone do one more nesting if uh, let's say maths plus physics plus chemistry plus physics plus chem should be greater than or equal to 180. So enclose the entire thing in a bracket and the or condition or uh, operator uh, maths plus physics close greater than or equal to 140. So, enclose the entire thing in a bracket and also the whole if inside a bracket. So, we are writing the L if condition for this. If those everything satisfies, you go ahead and print. I have the hmm, print F slash N student is eligible. And else for this comes as copy paste distant sentence paste student is not eligible and the if for the first the else part for the first if where again the student is not eligible if you write this also let's run the program once again we'll just run for the last part i have an error uh, yes, the spelling is wrong. Sorry. Okay. So, running the program once again, enter the math, marks for maths, physics and chemistry. We will enter 65, 55 and 50 to prove that the second condition is false. So, the student is not eligible. Then you can go ahead and run where any one of the first condition, any one of the conditions mentioned in the first line of the uh, condition block in line number 10 becomes false. Anyone where let's say maths marks is 60 and let's say 90 and 85 and that was a student is not eligible. Run once again for a good set of marks like 75, 85 and 95 where all the conditions were satisfied and the student is eligible. So plan your program like this. See if we can conduct uh, you know combine uh, conditions together using a logical and or logical or operator and yes you can shorten your program into a few more lines thank you